everyone, I am here in Seoul at P Nation with the beautiful, the talented, the amazing Jesse. Thank you for joining me. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah, very nice to meet you too. I'm so glad to do this. Because you are actually from the States, right? Yes. But also an international K-pop star. Yes. Can you tell us more about the recent EP and the single? Yeah, yeah. it's called Nuna. So the reason why I called it Nuna was everyone called me Senani. What would you think it means? They're like a strong woman, right? Yeah. But for me, it meant a strong, independent woman. Somebody who can overcome anything. And that's who, that's what my definition of Senani was. And I feel like, okay, after Honey, it's Nuna. I feel like a Nuna. Cause now I'm old. I'm like 33. But my my soul is young. But my knees are kind of old. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I feel you. I'm 34. I dropped a song called Nuna Nana. A song called Star Numb. Put it on ya. Drip and who that be? So you're an MC and an artist. Right. And another big part of K-pop is of course the dancing. I am not a dancer. Choreo. I saw your video. No, you no, were no. killing Listen, it. You were killing I it. I was killing it because my dancers were killing it. Look, you got. That's you, why you have, I was killing you it. You have single take choreo videos, and you're holding center forward. You're looking good. You're hitting no, the but moves. You know, I'm not gonna lie. The one thing that I have is feel. I'm not good at like a one, two, three, four. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, like, <laughs> like. <laughs> well, didn't they tell you that you're teaching me some of your new not dance today? No, I am going to teach you, but I'm gonna teach you the TikTok one because okay. that one is gonna take forever for you to learn because no, he's Oh oh you gon you gon you gon you gonna do this? You what the you gonna do this? All this? You gonna do all this? I mean No no no, no. the challenge Eugene is uh, if it's presented no, So he wants to learn not the TikTok dance, he wants to learn the actual dance. Yes. Play with we'll play the music. It's do you hear? Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. we got the veil, we got the veil. Oh. Okay, 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 it's new here. Hmm? Gresso. Gresso. So it's like, you know like when you just like talk like, like, like it's like, yes. Yes, it's that kind of vibe. Yes. Now get your ass back over okay, here. Okay, okay, sorry. So you know Sai, he's like a genius when it comes to dancing. So, you know, with his whole kind of every song that he has, he's always about choreo. Cause, okay, you have the music, you have the beat, a banging beat. If you have a banging dance that hits you right there too, it's yeah. it's gonna make it perfect. I literally had three days before Nuno Nana came out. We recorded, we changed our title like three times. Yeah. I had to learn it two hours a day, and then we shot the video. Well, we'll replicate a little bit of that challenge today. You can teach me as much as you think I can handle, and then if it sucks, we'll just cut it out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can yeah, see that see. you have some moves, though. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Open your legs. What, excuse me? <laughs> oh, just say, you open your legs. Oh, for the dance, okay. Yes. No, no, na, na, one. Okay. One, two, hmm. three, up. Uh. Long story short, I started, I came out here when I was 15, I debuted when I was two, in 2005. And I was a child not knowing anything about the culture. I could barely speak Korean. I failed many, many times. I went back to the States, I came back. I went through a lot of other companies. I, it was, it was horrible, but yeah, I'm here now and I'm like, I'm happy. And I feel like all those obstacles, all those bumps in the road, it made me who I am today. Grab it, no, so straight, grab it. No, 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 no. Yes, drop. Drop. For me, at first, it was the most hardest thing was being accepted as a Korean American. Mm. So the fact that I wasn't able to know the culture and also just the fact that I wasn't being able to speak Korean. I was hard work, and I was very hard work, and I was very hard work, and I was for me, it took me a really long time to adapt because I didn't have any guidance. Like, I didn't have a family out here. Like, I had to learn it all on my own. I thank my brothers for that, to be honest, because I have two older brothers. They really made me a strong person. I got a pretty bad from my, like, tough love. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, Like, yeah. tough love by my brothers. I got two sisters, same situation. Right. But they kicked my ass. Yeah, that's usually how it is. Yeah, diversify Older or younger? Your group. <laughs> older or younger? I'm right in the middle. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 
unlike the PB&J. Mm. Yes! Dun. Put him up in the air! Yeah, so this, this is the, everyone knows this, this part. part of the yeah. Dance, but yeah. this is the, the well, hardest part for me. I don't know why. Because something about it does not move. Yeah. Put them up in the air. Boom. Yo. Boom. Yo. Boom. Whoa! Oh. Like this? Yes! <laughs> I'm out of breath. All right. So uh, tell me about what your music perspective is, especially in the K-pop scene. You know, it's crazy because I've been doing this for 15 years now and I finally got accepted, like my music. I've always been known as like, okay, I'm Pretty Rap Star, that girl who's very loud and very um, outspoken and, you know, unapologetic. Like, that was who I was. Till this day, I'm still like that because I never wanted, you know how there's like that whole idol, like how everyone needs to be a certain way. And it's not like they want to be, it's just the, how the culture is. And it was really hard for me to be like that because I felt like I was lying to myself. As time went by, people started to be more open. I can't please everybody. I realize that I'm different and I'm, I think it's okay to be different. I think I succeeded because of that, even though it took me like 15 years. I feel like finally I'm being accepted for not just my personality, but also my music. I just love working. I'm a workaholic and That's definitely part of the Korean in you. <laughs> you know how Koreans are. They are like overboard. Like, you know in America, a lot of my friends are like five it's four fifty eight, they're ready to get they're the like, out. I am gonna be clocking out now. Yes. It's like three minutes yes, till, yes, yes. till six yes. and Otherwise, I'm gonna go to HR. Yeah. This will be a problem. Yes. In Korea, they're like, it is 10 p.m. Right. <laughs> now it goes from work to soju, sleep, back yeah. to work. Koreans have always been known to be very hard workers. Oh, fact. Work their asses off. This is a fact. I think you hit on a lot of important points, which is, especially as a, as a Korean American yeah. as well, you see so much of the culture sort of coming down, especially on women, on people who are trying to express themselves sure. and being like honest about it. Sure. So it's really good, especially for young Koreans yeah. and Asians out there who are watching, that they see role models who are just like, yeah. they're not giving a shit. You know, that's always been my mantra is just like, put myself out there, be myself. And that's kind of the most you can do. And hopefully like your family, your peers, the country, they catch up to you. Yeah. But I see what you're doing and I feel like you are just being authentic. I would just want to be happy, you know? This is the first time me as a teacher. He's doing an excellent job though, I'm not gonna lie. Great I teacher, great teacher. It took me a real long time, let me just tell you. All right. If you anything, you're being, you're being the best Nuna. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> All right, let's go. See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> I could be an inspiration to a lot of women. Cause me, I'm all about self-love, you know? And like yeah. a lot of women ask me all the time, how do you have so much confidence? And I always tell them it's, confidence is not something you're born with. You have to learn. You know how there's like beauty standards out here? Yeah. I say F that shit at this point. <laughs> They're not into the tan skin, like, you know, and like a lot of makeup and like hoop earrings and you know, big boobs. But it's, it's opening up a lot more now. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm really glad that that's happening. That was so good. He's sweating so much, I feel so bad. No, it's okay, I'm sweating because of the work. Did you have fun Yes, yes, I had a lot of fun. Thank you so yes. much, Jesse. Thank you. This was so amazing. Thank you. And everyone, was... please check her out. Her music is incredible. Thank and you. She's obviously incredible herself.
Yes, that's what's called overreactive. Well, if you see someone fall from getting pushed in the next Jesse show, know that it got choreographed right here in this moment. <laughs> yes. By yours truly. Yes. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> And it real like kind of were like, why are you pushing her so hard? Well, no, they're just they they they're going like this. But there are times I do it a little bit strong because I'm late. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta go, I gotta go. 